Hi guys, VC10 Aviation here and today I'll be making a London Heathrow model airport update. So we'll get started with the airport update. We've got this Delta, this arrived in from Salt Lake City and it'll be heading back out there. Um, actually no, um, it won't be heading back out there. Um, it's arrived in from Salt Lake City and it'll be heading out to Detroit. Yeah, mm. yeah that's one of the interesting things or well one of the most uh, difficult things about making the timetable is there's a lot of uh, American uh, flights they arrive in from uh, Minneapolis and then they'll head out somewhere like Salt Lake City or come in from Detroit or something like that. Um, it's quite interesting. We don't normally see that a lot in the UK uh, that much. Um, I've, the only time I've noticed it was Tenerife one time with uh, Ryanair. Um, there was a 737 arrived in from Stansted and it went out to Preswick and I think the Preswick flight then went out to Stansted so which was quite interesting so yeah so the aircraft this what was operating Preswick to Tenerife then flew out to went out to Stansted and the one that flew in from Stansted Stansted went out to um, Glasgow yeah so yeah so yeah it's a bit confusing um, so it's the only one time I've seen that but they do it quite a lot in the States so uh, I know with the uh, domestic uh, flights they fly the um, there's a lot of uh, aircraft that fly out so the um, I know was it just say the American 737-800 from Miami to Dallas it would he then head out to New York or some sort of interesting uh, flight that that um, yeah so the the yeah so the aircraft are constantly used over there where um, over in sort of Europe uh, they uh, it seems to like we have like a British Airways AP21 it heads London Heathrow to Toulouse it will come back to Heathrow and then would head out from sort of Heathrow maybe to Paris or something like that um, from there rather than you know head to you know go just say to Galway and then go out to Paris you know yeah, so it's a, it's a little bit confusing, um, but yeah, so that's one of the those routes, and I've noticed they're doing it quite a lot from Heathrow now. Um, I know American is doing that with this trip seven three hundred R. This is a one world. This is a custom model. Um, yeah, uh, so this is heading out to. This arrived in from Los Angeles, and it'll be heading out to New York. Yeah, interesting. Then we've got the American 777-200ER in the Chrome. This is the old library. Uh, this is heading out to uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor today. And then we've got the British Airways AP21. We've got two of these. So we've got X-Ray Delta. Uh, so it's this one here. And then we've got X-Ray Echo. Uh, so we've got the two uh, sister aircraft there. Uh, so we've got the... Uh, so this, the first AP21, so X-Ray Delta. This is heading out to... This arrived in from Toulouse and it'll be positioning out to London Gatwick. And then we've got this aircraft here arrived in from Manchester Ringway. Uh, so this is X ray Echo. Uh, that's, as I said, arrived in from Manchester Ringway. And it'll be heading out to. Um, that will also be positioning out to London Gatwick uh, to start a new service with uh, Eurofly. So, yes, um, so these AP21s will now be flying out of Gatwick. Um, they BA's position quite a bit of them um, to Gatwick and they use them um, from services from Gatwick so we'll be seeing that in the future so that's where they're going to uh, so yeah so that concludes the Heathrow Airport update um, so yeah so there there is um, a couple of regionals um, so you will see that in the next uh, sort of segment uh, so yeah so thank you very much for watching uh, part one and yeah. Okay, so here we have the, we've got two uh, ERJs here. We've got the KLM E190. This arrived in from Amsterdam and it'll be heading back out there. And then we've got the LOT Star Alliance E170. And this arrived in from Warsaw and it'll be heading back out there. Okay, here we've got a Vietnam Sky Team A350. This arrived in from Ho Chi Minh City and it'll be heading back out there. Then we've got a United 787-8. This arrived in from Denver and it'll be heading back out there. Then we've got a United 787-9. Uh, this arrived in from Los Angeles. And it'll be heading out to San Francisco. Um, then we've got a United 787-10. 
Uh, this arrived in uh, from Chicago and it'll be heading back out to Chicago. So there we go. Um, yeah, we don't really normally see the United Dreamliners that much at Heathrow. Um, now, we mainly see the 787s to and from Los Angeles, but anything like San Francisco, Houston, uh, we see Denver, but we don't see... Um, I remember the core routes used to be... I remember when they first uh, started their dream. I remember seeing a Dash 8 at Heathrow, um, and that aircraft was arriving from Houston, but that's now a 777-200. And then the, there's been other things as well, like Washington, I remember seeing, and I think even a Newark service on a 787, but that all seems to be 777s. But yeah, it'd be nice to see them again. Uh, but I thought I'd include these. Um, yeah, very nice additions. So yeah, so...